Hey guys, welcome to section three, getting familiar with the Informatica admin console. Previously, we successfully completed the installation of the server and client on our machine. Now we'll understand the various aspects of the administration console. This will help you gain the deeper insights of various aspects of Informatica administration console. This includes domains, nodes, repository service, integration service, and various security related aspects. Okay, let's get started. In this video, as mentioned earlier, we'll be discussing various aspects of Informatica Administration Console. To open Informatica Admin Console, follow the steps as you can see on the screen. Once you've successfully installed the server, in your software installation list under All Programs, you can see Informatica 9.6.1 installed. Click on Informatica 9.6.1, then click on Server. Under the server, click on Start Informatica Services. This should start Informatica Services on the machine. Make sure you have Oracle Database up and running, as well as Informatica Service, before you can open Informatica Admin Homepage. Once the services are up, click on Informatica Admin Homepage, located under Server. This will open up Informatica Admin Page in your browser. As you can see here on the screen, use the valid credentials for the admin that you mentioned while installing the server. We have used Administrator as username and Administrator as password. Once you've successfully logged into the homepage, You'll be presented with various options which Informatica administration needs, which Informatica admin needs to take care of at enterprise level. Even though these videos are not for learning admin, we need to have a basic understanding on admin so we can easily work on development tools. As you can see on the screen, there are various options which are available for an admin to perform various actions. You could see domains, logs, monitoring, reports, security, cloud, and various other options which an administrator handles. We'll discuss various aspects which are required for us as a developer to work on Informatica Admin homepage. Informatica architecture is basically divided into two sections. One is a server and the other a client. We successfully installed the server earlier. Hence, we could see the Informatica Admin on the screen. The server setup of Informatica Power Center can be done on Windows or a Unix OS while the client tools of Informatica can only be installed on Windows. When you work in an organization, your company decides which OS they want Informatica to be installed on. Most of the organizations have Unix as an OS. That's because Unix offers a lot of features, which pertains to security, multi-threading, and many more. Some of the important features for components, which we need to discuss in Informatica architecture, are domain, node, repository services, integration services, and security. We'll discuss all of these one by one. As shown on the screen, Domain Learn Well PC is the domain which is created when you installed server. Domain is the first thing that gets configured when you start the Informatica installation. Domain is a fundamental and primary admin unit of Informatica Power Center. Usually, the domain is installed over a common server, which is accessed via client tools by software sharing tools like Citrix. Domain configuration requires database connectivity. It is mandatory to have a database installed on your machine before you can configure domain. But we've already configured all these steps while we installed the server. When you install a server, a default domain is created, which takes the name of your system as seen here. Next important aspect which we need to learn in Informatica Admin is Node. Once you've configured the domain, next thing which gets created is the Node. Nodes are the physical representation of your machine on the server or the domain. There could be multiple nodes which could be created. Let's say your organization has 10 developers who are working. For all the 10 developers, a separate node will be created which will be listed here under the domain. Because we're working on our individual machine, we'll have a single domain and a single node pertaining to the same machine. Therefore, you could see the same name is being taken by the domain and the node. In this video, we successfully configured domain and nodes under Informatica Admin Console. 